In just over two and a half hours, we kick off for the biggest game in our history. Don't forget to like and subscribe. A couple of years down, the same team as played Sunderland in the first leg. It's going to be an interesting one. Here we go then, the walk up. Just been talking to a load of Sunderland fans. They're all confident that their away record is better than their home, etc. But so was ours, so that's gone out the window straight away. So let's get into it. <laughs> As promised by Luton, there's pretty much everyone in their seats now. There's only a few outstanding, uh, which is really good to see. Lots of seats. We were walking up Kenilworth Road and we heard Kenilworth Road already. It's about 40 minutes to go. <laughs>
turn off the lights. We say, shall we say, shall we say it's up for you? Five minutes gone, it's all looted at the moment. We are literally hammering their goal, hammering it. It's minutes what a, what a half that was we were unreal in the crowd and we were unreal on the pitch as well but completely end to end we knew exactly what we we're doing if we kept playing pressure kept playing the pressure we were going to score and we did and then to the Tom Lockyer header wow what a header that was so Sunderland provided not a lot at the moment uh, going forward there seems a little bit of a threat but it's been most looting and if we can get another goal now and just settle the nerves. The comments saying that Sunderland's away record, we had just the same away record, really good. And all of a sudden, the you know, playoff does the final for us. The playoffs is the playoffs at the end of the day. Pubs had just gone through, open goal almost, and he just skied it straight over. How's he missed that? Kenny's getting involved now, kicking the ball around, stopping them from getting it. 15 to go, come on.
celebrate with your own fans, fuck's sake. Don't worry about Sunderland, we're winning, fuck them. It's Hun Huddersfield memories all over again. Last year, they all come over to us, we hated it. Why the fuck are we doing it back to them? Get to our own. Sunderland fans, they're still here, they did well, they're still trying away at us just like we did at Huddersfield. Fantastic. Luton are going to Wembley. What a result today. We played so well. Uh, we never gave Sunderland anything at all. Um, we we're pressing them the whole time. Never let them breathe. Every time they got to second ball, we will get in there. And uh, what two great goals as well. It was fantastic. Wow, what a night that was. <sighs> Just trying to process it really. Fans got behind them from ball one and Oh my God, um, we played just as, as expected, to be honest with you. The whole season, we've been pressing and pressing. Today, the game, we pressed so well. Literally, every time Sunderland had the ball, we pressed at them. We were running, Alfie Doherty running from left back to the right back on them, just to block it. They, they never looked really comfortable here. Tom Lockyer, what a header. What a heck of a Osho again, another goal, just like he scored at Watford. Um, fantastic. What a night. As many people were saying, I was speaking to a lot of Sunderland fans on the way, how they were saying that away form is so much better for them. Luton's was as well. And we still managed to uh, come out with such a poor disbordment second half, purely because the atmosphere got to them. I don't know whether it's the same here or our class just showed. And we went on to, um, to have a fantastic game today. Um, yeah. What else can I say? Luton, the 10,000 tin pot stadium, as some people were saying, are going to Wembley for one last chance to make it to the big football of the Premier League. That is me. Hope you've enjoyed the vlog. Please do drop us a follow, a like, a sub. It would really help me out. And I will look forward to seeing you at Brighton versus Man City, um, my next game before Wembley, Wembley.